pretty soon, if not already, the gyms are going to get crowded again. What that means, a bunch of new people will come. A lot of people will be angry at different scenarios, different things, because they don't have the proper gym etiquette. So I'm going to show you a few of the instances that happened this past year that I found on TikTok, of course, of all places, and how to overcome these situations if this happens to you. So let's begin. Okay, as you can see, she was doing a beautiful set of deadlifts, of course, the right way, not the cheating way. First thing this guy says, you're killing my ears here. Why are you doing behind her? Then she goes, oh, what do you want me to do here? There's a lot of misconception out there that you need to control the way when it comes to heavy deadlifting. That will definitely damage your back and you don't want that. Now, he's definitely angry because he's not aware on how deadlifts are performed in some way, apparently. And uh, he's just going at her because he can't handle the noise in, in the gym, which he is right behind her. Now he's saying if you control the way in the negative, it's better. Which again, that's not the case. Next time I'll wear earphones. So he's providing a solution to the problem that he has. If you're gonna start doing deadlifts, make sure that you are doing it in a platform. Obviously over there, uh, we don't have a platform, but you know, you do what you can with what you have. And honestly, she wasn't dropping a lot of weight. So you can see she's barely dropping uh, almost 200 pounds, if that. And uh, he's getting angry at that. No, next time, just don't sit right behind the person that's doing deadlifts if you are obviously annoying by the noise that happens. It's that simple. But let me show you the next one. Though. Gym etiquette police, right? So uh, this woman is deloading her bar. Uh, obviously, that's something that gym etiquette 101, you always re-rack your weight. Excuse me, you read? Leave. I didn't drop the weight, I dropped the bar. How much is that weight? There's no weight. There's no weight. There's no weight. <laughs> I weigh something, am I weight? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that guy was obviously mad because she was deloading her bar. That's the type of people that you're going to encounter in the gym. So please make sure to understand that these people are coming from a place of um, lower IQ levels and they do not have the proper gym etiquette. It's your job to educate them. Not really. But it's your job to ignore them. Probably. Don't get angry. Don't worry about it. You do you. But I'm going to give you three tips that will make this scenario way, way easier. So you don't have to deal with that. Number one, just try to go at times that are not peak hours. If you go on a, during the peak times, you're gonna be encountering these type of people. So well, that means uh, between 4, 6 p.m., most of the gyms are crowded because everyone's getting off work. And that's when you're gonna see this kind of people for the most part. Number two, make sure that you are surrounded by people like-minded. Make sure you have the right personnel next to you. If someone is deadlifting four or five, go right next to that person and do your deadlifts. So that person will definitely not be mad at you making any noises. And number three, let's say you couldn't find a way to get in the gym early and now all the machines are taken. A good plan B will be going back home and eat an entire pint of ice cream, right? No. An awesome plan B will be grabbing some dumbbells, go near the machine or bench you're looking to use and wait for the person to finish their sets while you're warming up by doing similar movements next to the machine that you're about to use. And at that point, you don't have to warm up again. You're already there. You already warm up and then you go and crank some working sets. Uh, there will always be someone that might have an issue with what you are doing in the gym. Just please, please, please make sure not worry about that. They're just probably miserable and they don't care about you anyways. They just want to 
bother you. In some cases, what I do is I just ask them, hey, dude, do you want to work out with me? I see you're looking at me for a while. Then they say, hey, you know what? Actually, I had a, I had a question. How do you do this? How do you do that? Um, that's simple. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today. See ya.